Hello. So in this video, I'll show you how to set up cloud identity. Now I'll go to cloud identity first. You simply search it and I'll click on cloud identity. And then I'll click on buy cloud identity premium. So cloud identity gives you a free trial of 14 days. So here you can set up identity and then you can set up users within it. You can set up groups. You can have mailboxes for the, the users. Now our purpose is different. We are using cloud identity, let's say for learning GCP, for setting up GCP organization. So for that purpose, we would be setting up cloud identity or you can even use the same cloud identity to learn Google Workspace or G Suite later. But our purpose would be different. So I'll click on the next button over here. And then I'll put a business name. So let's say my business name is this. And I'll put a how many users I have, how many mailboxes I would be creating. It's for that purpose. So let's say I will have two to nine users, for example. You'll select your country. Then you'll select a name. So let's say I'm creating this account for the admin. So this would be something name like something like this. I'll call it as admin at the rate domain name and i would say that i already have a domain name domain name is this so you'll actually need to have the domain name uh purchased without the, the domain name you wouldn't be able to set up cloud identity i'll say next and later in this part the domain name verification would happen so i'll say next i already have the domain name and then I'll set up first user. So let's say my first user would be uh, something like a super admin. So I'll say super admin at the domain name and the super admin's password. You can have a backup ID. So let's say my backup ID is this. I don't want to educate the user right now. So I'll say no thanks. Yes complete this challenge okay now you would need to log in from the id which you created while setting up cloud identity by set up id which is super admin you would need to log in with that id will ask for the mobile number verification or the SMS verification. You can just complete it quickly. I need to try out some other numbers. So I've been doing this cloud identity things quite a time now. So it's not accepting my number. So let me put one more number over here. Say Once I have the verification code, I need to enter and get going. It didn't receive the verification code. It doesn't have the button to resend. I'll do is I'll click on admin.google.com if you face any if you face the same issue. You can do the same thing. I'll repeat it again. And it's asking for the mobile number.
Okay, not really sure why it is not sending me the verification code on the mobile number. Let me try to use the other method which is doing a mobile phone. It finally received an OTP. Okay, you need to do this verification again. They won't be charging anything. Okay, so it is 14 day free, but after that, which plan you want to choose? So I'll select one of these plans. So let's say I'll select this plan. And you would need to uh, fill in the card details. You would need to fill in all these details. And that will set up the cloud identity. But again, there's a cash tag. Once you set up the cloud identity, you would need to do some mobile verification. Uh, so not mobile verification, it is actually the domain name verification. So once everything is up and running, okay, you can go to admin.google.com. Once you put the card details, without card details, it won't it wouldn't let you proceed. And once you have done that, once you have entered your card details for verification, then you can go to admin dot uh, sorry, you can go to admin.google.com and the id which you created while the sign up of the cloud identity you can log in with that super admin user id okay now i'm using a different domain reference over here then under this you would need to go to something known as uh domain name yeah here it is the domain name you can click on this and I have one domain name mapped over here. Okay, you can see this. And this domain name will basically give you an option to do a verification. It, for me, it is already verified, but let's say how would it, it look like it's a add a domain name over here. Something like this. It will ask you to do the verification. So you will get a verification. You can go to text page verification. And whatever domain name you have used to set up cloud identity, you can go to the DNS panel of the domain name. Let's say I've bought the domain name from GoDaddy, for example. And you need to create a text record. This is the next step. And you need to create this text record okay. inside a DNS of your domain registrar. You can buy domain name from anywhere and you need to do this step additionally. So you need to do two things while setting up cloud identity for verification purpose. You would need to put your card details. Okay, once that is done, once you've entered the card details and you have your cloud identity up and running, then you will need to go to admin.google.com. And on the overview page itself, you will see something known as domain names or domains. Here you will see your domain name, which you have added while creating the cloud identity you need to verify okay and when you click on the verify button for me it is already verified but for you it would be like verify when you click on the verify button all right it'll ask you to create a text record and this text record basically gets created inside your uh, dns of your domain register and once you do that your cloud identity would be up right so this is it for this video guys thank you